Aha! What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fingerboard Week! Before we fully get into this video, I want to show you a clip that was sent to me by a guy called UC Mentis. I'm not sure if that's how you properly pronounce his name, but he made a fingerboard out of ramen noodles. He made that especially for this video, so if you guys want to go check him out, his YouTube channel is linked in the description. Go be like, Sup, UFC? I saw on Instagram a while back that some guy made one of the Vans Park Series parks for a fingerboard. If you don't know what the Vans Park Series parks are, they're pretty much just skate parks, like transition parks, and they're really sick. One of the versions of the parks I saw was made by a guy, Dark Matter underscore FB. It looked like it turned out really sick, and I've actually been thinking about making one of these for a while, but I just haven't got around to it. But today, that's exactly what I want to do. If I was really good at skating, I would love to skate one of these parks. But I'm not good enough at skateboarding. So I'm gonna make it for my fingers. Wow. I haven't made a concrete park in a while, so we have to go get the materials to make this park, and there's only one place that you can get that stuff. You know we're about to hit up the... the bunnis. And I found this, which is pretty much a template of what the park's gonna be like from a bird's eye view. It's gonna make making the dimensions of this park so much easier. We gotta go to the store and get polystyrene, wood, and concrete. Bonnings Warehouse! Where lowest prices are just the beginning. Usually I'd have to ask the guys for a cutting knife to cut this, but today I brought my own. Make sure you stay strapped up. I'm a bit of a seasoned veteran. Alright, that's polystyrene, now I need wood. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wood and polystyrene secure! I was gonna get concrete, but I think I might actually still have a bunch of concrete at home, so... You know, I don't wanna buy something if I don't need it. It's just a waste of money. Dude, I need this car. It's the Bunnings Mobile! I just printed out the template to fit onto a 1200 by 900 board. So now I'm gonna stick them together and then we'll get an idea of how big it's actually gonna be. Okay, this thing's gonna be absolutely huge. Like for real, this thing's gonna be massive. This is gonna be the second concrete ball I've ever made. First one being in the very first fingerboard week where I made the Wanaka ball. Yeah, this one's gonna be considerably bigger and more complex to make. But if this turns out good, it's gonna be so sick. Separated the bowl into different layers. Hopefully this makes sense. We got one, which is the first layer, and two, and three, which goes around the very top. I'm gonna have three layers of polystyrene, and each one is a different level of how high the bowl's gonna be. <laughs> Okay. 
got this new respirator because in the past I've like breathed in a bunch of this foam and it wasn't that awesome so now I have this. And plus one of the guys at Bunnings was like, protect your lungs, otherwise you'll end up like me. And I'm like, alright. No, I am your father. That's impossible! Just a little bit of Star Trek quotes for you. This is that kebab vibe right here. What meat do you want, bro? Lamb? No, we only got polystyrene. together and put weight on top of it and now I just need to wait for it to dry and then we can start actually shaping the bowl. I'm gonna shape this whole thing using this thing called a Shurafoam and sandpaper. I'm just gonna go around until it's all complete. I've done this process every time I make a park out of polystyrene and concrete. I never really show how long it takes because it's just cut into a quick montage of me shaping it. But I'm gonna let you know how long this one's gonna take. To shape this whole thing, to get it down to how I want it, is gonna take a little over five hours. Yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna start shaping it now. It is currently 9.45 and we'll see when I finish it. I might not even finish it tonight. Bowl shaping montage. I'm trying to keep it to the And I've done the majority of the major parts. It's looking like the final shape at the moment But I still need to do a bunch of stuff to get it fully finished But I just can't do that right now because I'm so tired So I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning We gotta go to a hobby shop and pick up some aluminium pipe to make coping around the whole bowl I want to make sure that there's actually metal coping in the parts where there's meant to be metal coping Just having coping on the bowl just makes it look way more professional Oh god damn it. Look at that traffic. Ah! I gotta come back through there. Oh my gosh. Supposed to be like a 30 minute trip is probably gonna be like an hour and a half trip. Green. Ah yes. We've arrived at the metal pipe store. So it's time to go get some pipe so we can lay some pipe. <laughs> and by that I mean coping. Hold on sir, I have pipe here. And now we're about to lay it. Oh yes. I just laid that pipe good. To the bat! Home! We're going home! I went ahead and bought four of these aluminium pipes just to make sure that I had enough to go around the whole thing. The good thing about this stuff is it's really easy to bend. You can just bend it with your hands. All of these red bits is going to be coping. The last thing I really gotta do is bring back the edge so the coping can fit and flush and then do some final little adjustments and then it'll be time to concrete.
All the coping's painted red now. The whole thing's ready to be concreted. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Probably the biggest thing I've made, or like the most complex thing I've made. So it's taken a lot of work, so I think I'm gonna split this video into two parts. So make sure to come back tomorrow where we finish this bowl, concrete it, paint it, give it a go, see if it actually works. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash subscribe and like, and go check out my merch. The link's in the description, really helps out. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Pizza time.